Okay, so this video is about um, how I fix my AC unit when it stopped working and the tool that I purchased to do that. Um, I had an old multimeter and I realized that uh, that it was not actually going to work for me. So I purchased this Klein Tool CL390. Um, I got this from Home Depot. Um, they had a few different versions, but um, this one seemed pretty good and had the features that I needed to be able to uh, fix the AC unit. Um, I hadn't actually worked on AC units before, but I went online. I saw a bunch of videos that say that uh, the most common problem with an AC unit is the capacitor. So this thing is the capacitor. So um, I took a picture of that. I took a picture of um, how the wires were connected. Um, this is actually important. It's always recommended to do that. And actually, when I went to put the new one back in, um, I had it wrong. It's like, oh, let me check the picture. It's like, oop, I did. I swapped two of the um, lines. So good thing to take a picture before you take it off. So here's the uh, tool, and here's the capacitor that I took off the air conditioning unit. Um, at first, I wasn't sure if my multimeter was actually working because when I opened it up and I tested this capacitor, I got no reading at all. And I was like, oh, um, am I doing this right? Um, and actually, it turned out that it was just really uh, busted, right? So that it, was, it wasn't showing any kind of um, response. The tool comes with this bag. It's nice. I like having tools that come with bags, so um, it keeps it organized inside my cabinet. And it came with this adapter. This is for measuring temperature. And batteries, um, three AAA batteries. This is the capacitor that I purchased. I got it on Amazon. Um, you can get this at local stores like Ferguson's. Um, and I think it should cost around $7. On Amazon, this cost me about $13, but it was delivered the very next day. It had the same rating as the one that I was replacing. And it looks pretty much exactly the same. Except for cleaner. So here I'm testing the capacitor. This is the common and the ERM. Um, it's supposed to be you know around 40 and it's 3983. So that's right. And I tested the old one again and I get no reading at all. And this is why I thought, well, maybe I'm doing something wrong. But actually, once I actually had the good capacitor and I tested it and I saw that it was actually um, reading what it's supposed to, I realized, uh, yeah, it wasn't the meter or me. It was the capacitor. And now um, what this is the common and the fan, and that's just supposed to be f at 5. So 5.05, uh, just about right. I test it out again. The old capacitor, the common, and the fan, and I get no reading at all. So that was a good indication that it, it was a capacitor, and hopefully when I... Put this back into the air conditioning unit it'll work so this is what i had it set on okay i need to replace or install this capacitor first it's confirmed power's off Okay, I have them all plugged back in, but I'm not actually 100% sure it's right. The brown and the purple, I'm not sure, so I'm going to have to go check my picture from before. 
That's the only thing I did was take these things off, take that out, replace it. I did test that the one that came out showed nothing at all. I thought my multimeter didn't work, but it actually was just busted. Once I got this new one, it was right. This is a multimeter that I purchased, the Klein CL390. I got it from Home Depot and it worked fine. I'm just gonna go check my picture, make sure that purple is in the fan or brown is in the fan. I don't know. After looking at my picture, I realized I had it wrong. It was brown in front on the fan, orange on the Herms, and the red and purple on the um, common. That's the only thing I did was swap that out. So hopefully we're good. I'm gonna put this panel back on and flick the switch and turn it on. Okay. I gotta, I gotta turn on the Nest app and the video will go off for a sec. Look at that. So this was a simple fix. Um, if I had called a it's beautiful um, thing, an AC HVAC guy, I suspect this would have cost $150, $200 service and it was just a $13 part. And I got a new multimeter, so that cost me about $80. So it's maybe around ninety hundred dollars yeah, with the multimeter, but obviously that's a tool that it's good to have. So, real reason to to post this is to uh, show you that if your air conditioning goes out, um, you could probably fix it on your own. Um, might as well at least check to see if it's a capacitor, because that's a somewhat of a simple fix to do. Cheers.